Today we're going to look at linear inequalities and how to identify solutions of linear inequalities. A linear inequality is y is greater than x minus 3. Notice it looks a lot like a linear equality in that except for the fact that there's a greater than symbol rather than an equal sign. So if we want to check to see if a particular point is a solution to that linear equality, what we're going to do is substitute the values for x into x and the value for y into y and see if we get a true statement. For example, let's look at the point 1, 2. Is it true that 2 is greater than 1 minus 3? Now we want to make sure we only operate on one side of the inequality. We don't want to subtract or add anything or multiply anything from both sides. So we're just going to take 1 minus 3, and we end up with 2 is greater than negative 2, which is a true statement. Therefore, this point, 1 comma 2, is a solution of the inequality. Please pause the video and copy this into your notes. Let's try another one. Negative 3, negative 7. Is it true that negative 7 is greater than negative 3 minus 3? Well, negative 3 minus 3 is negative 6. And it is not true that negative 7 is greater than negative 6. That's not true. So this is not a solution of the linear inequality. Please pause the video and copy that into your notes. Okay, your turn. Try to find out if the point 3, 6 is a solution to this linear inequality. Pause the video, copy the problem, and work it out. When you're ready, hit play. Okay, so we have that 6 plugged in for y and 3 plugged in for x. Doing the arithmetic, 2 thirds of 3 is 2, then we're going to add 4 and we get 6. And it is true that 6 is less than or equal to 6. The or equal to part is the important part here because 6 equals 6. Please pause the video, check your answer, and copy this into your notes. Okay, now try this one. Pause the video, work on the problem. Plugging in 2, in for x, and 2 in for y, we see that 2 is greater than 4 is the statement. That's not true. Therefore, 2, 2 is not a solution to the linear inequality. Please pause the video and copy this into your notes.